This is one of multiple videos showing you iOS commands that can save you a lot of time and optimize the way that you work with the Cisco CLI. Now in a previous video, I showed you the command reload in, such as reload in 10. This is useful when you are connecting to a remote router and you lock yourself out, you can get to the router to reboot back to a previous configuration. But there is another way of doing this. You can type conf t and notice we have the option revert and we can specify a timer. We can get a router to revert back to a configuration. So I'll set this to one minute, but notice it doesn't work at the moment. We have to enable archiving of configurations. So conf t, archive. Path will store this in the flash of the router and let's call this backup1.cfg, end. DRR, now we don't see that in the output here, so let's do a WR, and let's do a show flash zero. Notice the file doesn't appear in the output here either. I could, as an example, include backup and see if we have the backup file, but we don't see that in the output. But notice what happens now when we use the command conf t revert time one. We told rollback confirmed change, backing up configuration, running config to flash zero, backup one dot CFG, and we have a date and timestamp. We are put into global config mode, and we told that rollback will begin in one minute. So now, if we type do show IP interface brief, there is a loop back, and if I remove the loopback interface, which should be one in this case. So show IP interface brief. There is no loopback interface configured. What we should see happening in a moment is that the configuration is rolled back. And there you go. Configuration rollback has taken place. Commands have been added back to the router. So show IP interface brief. Notice the loopback has been written back via TFTP according to this output. So the config was rolled back and this is very similar to stating that if we don't cancel this process, after 10 minutes, roll it back to a previous config, rather than having to reboot the router. Now, if you wanna keep your changes, so in this example, I'm setting it to roll back within one minute, and I'm going to remove the loopback, so no interface loopback one. What I need to do is type config and we have this option, confirm. So I've now confirmed that change, so the configuration will stay this way. It's not going to be reverted back to the previous configuration. It will remain the way that it's now configured. So another really useful command, rather than rebooting the router, you can simply get it to revert back to an archived configuration. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.